Hi, it's Ronick from Ask Audio. I'm here at Superboost 2017 at the PreSonus booth with Arndt. How are you doing, Arndt? Hey, good to see you. Good to meet you as well. Good, good. So, we're going to be talking about the new Quantum uh, Thunderbolt 2 audio interface. That's right. And it's not just any audio interface, because it's uh, DC coupled, and that's a good thing for modular guys, right? It is, and that's actually one reason we're here. Um, we decided um, about a year ago that uh, from a certain point, all our audio interfaces should have DC coupled outputs. Um, for the purpose of controlling analog synthesizers like Eurorack, and uh, this is also the case for the Quantum, um, which is brand new. It's it's kind of a preview we're doing here because the official launch will be next week. But we thought because it's only a couple of days, uh, um, we do want to show it also because it has a DC coupled outputs and we can demo it here with an analog synth. Um, it is the first Thunderbolt uh, audio interface uh, made by Presonus. Uh, we think it's the best sounding, most powerful, fastest interface that we've ever made. It's uh, Thunderbolt 2. Uh, it has 26 total inputs and 32 total outputs, 8 analog ins and outs, uh, 8 mic pre's, um, our XMAX mic pre's um, with 24-bit and 192 kilohertz converters. Uh, it's the best we have. Um, but the cool thing about this interface is it actually has no DSP inside. It's designed exclusively for the purpose of bringing the audio in and out of the computer as quickly, as fast as possible. Um, and that means um, with the drivers we're currently developing for Mac and Windows, we get latencies as low as one millisecond and even impressive. below. Yeah. Very um, I've seen it run on a Windows machine uh, with a buffer size of eight samples and it had 0.8 milliseconds of latency. So what that means is you can run all your native plugins, well not all your native plugins, but most of your native plugins that have no latency and that's actually the case with many plugins like our Pro EQ, you can put it on an input now, you can process the signal at, um, at, without adding latency to it um, before you record. Or you can put plugins on the monitoring chain for a headphone mix, uh, for a singer, for a musician, uh, without recording it. Uh, but it's all in software and it's all in real time. Wow. Uh, so that's very new. Um, some interfaces, like uh, our Studio 192, um, um, have DSP on board uh, for uh, zero latency monitoring. But with this interface, it's no longer necessary. So if you have a fast computer with Thunderbolt, add this interface to it, and you can basically run entirely in software. It's great for virtual instruments, but it's also great for uh, controlling analog gear, what we're doing here. Excellent. So, yeah, so you've got a uh, Mother 32 set up there? Yeah, it's is... quite handy. It has the patch bay. We don't use the MIDI input because we wanted to show how it's controlled uh, with CV. We're just using two outputs right now, one to send the gate signal and one to send CV uh, for pitch control. And then inside Studio One, we're using a plugin um, that uh, takes the uh, takes the MIDI and, and um, converts it to CV. It's actually not here right now. Um, I would have to bring that up uh, for you later because it's a different song that we're playing right now. Okay. Um, but basically what that means is we can use our, uh, our note repeater, our, our pagiator, which is software, but it actually controls a hardware synthesizer. Okay. Uh, and that's, so that's quite cool. One question that some people might ask is that, okay, so it works great in Studio One because you've mm -hmm. got the MIDI to CV uh, kind mm -hmm. plugin. Mm -hmm. uh, how would somebody like a Logic or a Pro Tools user uh, make that work? Yeah, actually we're using a third-party plugin right now. It's not our own plugin. It's uh, Silent Way uh, from Expert Sleepers, and uh, it's a standard VST instrument and VST plugin, um, and that works in basically any uh, compatible DAW or sequencing software. Oh, awesome. Okay. So, yeah. how much is Quantum going to be retailing for? Um, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be uh, Street uh, 999 US, mm -hmm. uh, and it will be available end of next month. It's gonna start shipping it. Um, it's gonna take a couple of weeks to ramp up, but uh, that's uh, when we're planning to ship it. Um, I should also mention that you can um, that we have two Thunderbolt ports, which means you can stack multiple units. You can basically daisy chain. You can daisy chain up to four units, and that gives you 96 inputs and 96 outputs. So Maybe not interesting for um, a modular synth uh, musician, bedroom musician, bedroom yeah. musician but <laughs> yeah. for a professional recording studio with this 100% native uh, um, environment, uh, that's, that's very, uh, that's very cool. Very, very attractive features. Very, very interesting. Thank you so much, Arn. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's nice to meet you. You too.